Hello, let me demonstrate a new module which is coming to Cut Plus toolset allowing you to insert QR code into your drawing. This feature is available in Cut Plus menu under the Drawing Plus group. It is also available in SolidWorks toolbar. It is required to specify the data source of your QR code. You can select custom property, file pass, part number. Also, if you're using this in SolidWorks PDM world, you can use Kinesio URL or Web2 URL. So let me start by inserting the custom property description into my QR code. I can modify the parameters in the location group to update the position and size of my QR code. Preview is displayed, allowing you to select the optimal position. I can select the dock position, so in this case I want to insert my QR code into the bottom left and specify the offset. Once all parameters specified, we can click a green tick to insert QR code into our drawing. Let's print this drawing and validate the result. We can use any type of QR code readers. Now I'm just going to use my phone to scan that QR code. And as you can see, it correctly displays the description of my drawing. This SolidWorks drawing is managed under SolidWorks PDM Professional Vault. Let's insert QR code which allows me to navigate to my file in the PDM Vault using its URL. This URL is file pass independent, so everyone who has an access to the Vault will be able to browse that file regardless of their local Vault file pass. We can now print our drawing and use QR code scanner on our computer to navigate to that file in a world. I'm just going to use a Windows-based QR code reader, and as you can see, it instantly navigates to that file in the PDM world. Now I can activate different tabs of PDM world to look at my drawing. My SolidWorks PDM world is hosted on Web2 interface, which means that I could access it from any device. Now let's insert QR code which will point to underlying assembly of this drawing and the URL will be accessible from any device via Web2 interface. I just need to select PDM Web2 URL and select Reference Document checkbox and that's done. We can print this drawing now and validate the result. I'm just going to use my phone and activate that URL. I will need to log into my PDM Vault using the credentials. I just need to specify username and password and click login. And you can see I can access that file on my iOS device. I can do some basic operations in this mobile interface such as check in, check out or change transition. Please find email in the description of this video for any inquiries. Thank you for watching this video.